<clears throat> this right here is um, kind of my main rig. Um, my main vlog kind of daily stuff kind of video rig. I use this mostly around here. Sometimes I take it out, but I do take it out a lot less than I used to, mainly because this thing's big, it's heavy, it requires a big bag. My bags are sitting right behind me there. Um, and also, I've introduced this into my kind of uh, my semi um, daily, not really daily, but like into my more um, regular video routine. So carrying this around and this around, uh, it's a bit much just to, you know, like take to the store and stuff like that. So I think what I'm going to, or I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of res reserve this setup for um, a little bit more intricate stuff, uh, a little bit more higher, higher produced stuff. So I'm not like, I'm not going to be doing like, I'm not taking this every day or doing like this daily kind of vlog stuff with it. Um, unless it's here, I'll use it here just because it's easy to get to. I have everything uh, kind of set up and ready to go. But as for taking it, taking it out and doing more daily stuff, uh, definitely not going to take all this with me unless uh, I have to. Uh, that meaning if I'm shooting something more like a, a how to or a um, how I shoot certain things or or doing a showcase on someone locally, then yeah, I'll take this for sure. It's more of a, uh, a job, more of a gig, if you will. Um, but just for like daily stuff, just for going out and shooting at night or like going out to pick up stuff or, or to kind of show you like a really awesome place. Um, for that stuff, I think I'm gonna switch back. Where are you? I think I'm gonna switch back to this right here. This is the GoPro Hero 5 that I got ages ago, it seems like. Um, used to use it for work, used it for work for a little bit uh, last year. Don't really use it that much or kind of sits here. I occasionally use this for Instagram photos, but other than that, it's just sitting up here and I want to use this again for uh, daily steps. So we're going to consolidate this. Oh, this by the way, this is the uh, Zayun Weevil. Uh, this is the Weevil Lab, not the new one. Uh, the new one came out a little bit after I got this one, so that peeped because it works perfectly and I love this thing and it was uh, far less than uh, DJI's comparable um, gimbal that came out not too long before. Uh, and I love it. Um, if you want one, get one. Get this one. It's cheaper if you have just a regular mirrorless or anything like that. Go with this one or get the new one. Doesn't matter. Do what you want. Anyway, we're going to consolidate this into more of a daily carry thing because I want more of a daily carry setup. So what we're going to do is going to replace this, 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 um, and this. Actually, I'm going to use this um, with a smaller GoPro setup. And here is what I think I'm going to do. Get you out of the way. First things first, uh, I'm going to get this mic, the Rode Video Micro, and use this for the GoPro. So all this stuff can be set aside. Next thing is the hardware, so I can carry this around and kind of plan it, plan it places, and you know do the do the thing that you would normally do. And that would be the stuff right here. I know I've kind of done a video on this already, but. This is, this is more for me. Um, so, get all this stuff up. I have a broken door and a door, a replacement door that I use. I kind of keep this in my pocket when I'm not using it. But for now, ooh, but for now, um, it's gonna come off because I need to get the mic adapter on here. So, again, I've made a video about all these parts before. So here is the mic adapter for the GoPro mic. Get your mic up here. Okay, you can. Oh. Plugged in. Mic'd up. Okay. There's part one right there. Part one being mic. Just the general kind of talk to the camera kind of thing. Here's what we are going to use. Now, the um, stabilization on the five wasn't the greatest. It and isn't, it's not anywhere near as good as the eight. Nowhere near as good as the seven. Uh, comparable to the six, but definitely not good. I don't think it's usable personally. 
Um, I never used it uh, for client work. What I do have is another Zion product. This is the Smooth Q. This is the first iteration of Smooth Q right here. And so what I do is I lock the GoPro in. Um, so actually, yeah, so I lock the GoPro in sideways because it fits perfectly in this clamp. And I just use the remote shooting app for the GoPro as kind of a second monitor and to hit start and stop on the record button. But this way smaller than this. I can just kind of pocket this and figure out I have to figure out a way I can lock it because it doesn't have one. It just kind of sits loosely, but it is pretty durable and it's relatively inexpensive, especially now if you get a used one or an older model like this one. So I'm not too concerned uh, with damaging this as much as it should be, but um, if I can get it like some kind of strap or something again, strap everything down, then I think we'll be good. Meaning this will fit much better in a bag than that other bigger setup. So. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, also. I can just break everything down very, very quickly here and throw it in a bag super quick. So that will be the new setup for daily stuff. I know in here uh, and in the production room, slash print room, slash everything else room, um, the lighting is not the brightest, especially because I try to keep it as cool as possible, but it's something I do need to work on. So probably what I will do is mess with settings manually. I won't be able to get my in-camera color grading that I have set up on all my cannons, but just a little bit of extra post work uh, will match them up good enough for me. Anyway, back to this. So here's the new um, everyday carry. It's going to go in a smaller bag. Should be a lot easier to manage. I know it still kind of seems like a lot, but believe me, Bringing all that other stuff, bringing this big guy and the other gimbal. I know, I know I don't always bring the other gimbal, but you know, bringing all that stuff, worrying about all that stuff, uh, kind of a pain. It's one of the main things that keeps me from taking the camera out when I go out to do other things like uh, show like work stuff or just to go out and shoot. Uh, when I go out to shoot at night or when I go out to shoot during golden hour or during the day, um, it's gonna be a lot easier to, to take this. Plus taking two big DSLR bodies, not, not, not the most fun thing. I know some other folks do that. I don't want to do that. It's just not for me. That's it for now. Um, we're trying something a little bit different and that's kind of been the whole point of, you know, getting back into the swing of things. So what I have going right now is here, I'm going to record it. Look at this. We're going to switch over to this camera here. So here's what we are looking at. Right in front is the 7D Mark II with a big old chonky battery. That's being fed through that wire here directly to my little laptop here. And that's running the, uh, the remote shooting app thing that I have on the computer. Um, the M on the other hand is connected via HDMI, Ava, via HDMI going all the way down to my Elgato HD60. And that's being previewed right there, if you can see. So I'm able to monitor both these cameras with one screen. Yeah, I know. Uh, and that's how that's getting done. I hope it works. If it works, well, you're watching the video, so it obviously worked. But, um, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. I completely forgot. So, so, I do have the audio pumped through this powered mic here on the tiny uh, Joby Gorilla Pod. So, I don't really have to worry about that being so far away. Uh, I'm able to have a power to mic a little bit closer. Uh, it's hopefully keeping some of this noise out because it is very noisy in here with the fan going. But back to this, uh, this, is gonna be, this is going to be my new daily rig, hopefully. Um, I'm gonna try to do more consistent daily-ish style uh, videos, more of the vlog style content um, to kind of keep my practice up and uh, to keep my premier skills going. Anyway, I gotta clean this up. We're gonna get started tomorrow with this. Uh, tomorrow being later today, because it's tomorrow already. So I'm pretty excited to get everything going and pretty excited to see what I can do because it's been a while since I've done that kind of stuff. Okay, I gotta go. I will see you 
much sooner than, than later. Okay, bye.